Good afternoon, Americans. This is your favorite alien on the evening of uh, Tuesday, February 11th. Bubba is sleeping right now. It's about oh, 8.35 p.m. Watching the early returns on the New Hampshire primary. And writing this video to say the death knell of the Democratic Party and the United States. It all started with uh, Pelosi, and look at the uh, Democratic Party. Their big guy, Biden, is biting the dust big time. He should really re uh, recover from the race here. He's getting killed in New Hampshire. Tulsi, well, people don't want to recognize her, I think. They want somebody that's a liberal up there like Sanders which really won't get anything done Sanders is too socialist they don't understand that Buttigieg and Kobachar they won't last long and Warren well she should be get out of there you had Andrew Yang that left and the other guy that left and then you got what uh, the mayor from New York there you told your supporters, well, you're doing a good job in New Hampshire, but I didn't expect you to get more than 3% there because <laughs> New Hampshire is New Hampshire, and it's tough to, to win there. They, they seem to have money, and they seem to want uh, socialism over there in New Hampshire, i.e. Sanders. Uh, I don't know if Tulsi has enough momentum to get into South Carolina, and Super Tuesday, that's that's a lot of money. But anyway, like I said, this is the beginning of the end of the Democratic Party. Because if Tulsi doesn't get any votes going forward, the winner of the Democratic Party, and it's going to be a disastrous convention, is uh, going to lose to Trump. The Democrats don't have the support that Trump does. And Trump's been on a rampage, which was the law of unintended consequences. I told House Speaker Pelosi, do not go this route, because if you lose, the American people are going to pay dearly. And they have started paying dearly. You voters for the Democratic Party just don't understand that. you got watermelons for heads. The best kind of debt you have is Tulsi Gabbard's. And you're throwing it out the window. You should have thrown Biden out the window, which you are. But you should throw Sanders out the window. Buttigieg out the window. And Kobachar out the window. Those people are not going to win. They just don't have what it takes to be a president. You don't get that. You're looking for people that you say, I want this to beat Trump. You need a candidate to fill the presidency, not a candidate to, to uh, beat Trump. If you get a candidate that's above themselves, that tells you the way it is, not what you want to hear, then yeah, you have a candidate that'll be Trump. But neither Buttigieg, Sanders, or Kobachar have that. Biden and Warren, well, they're half bins. And uh, Bloomberg, look what he did in New York. And you say, oh, he did a lot in New York, right? Stock and frisk. New York is worse off for what he did, especially with de Blasio in there. Anyway, this is your favorite alien. Bubba's losing tonight. Good day.